I've only ever trusted my gut on everything. I don't trust my head, I don't trust my heart, I trust my gut. Music is just such. It's not therapy, but it's a release, it's a joy, it's a pleasure. And it's a job, which is weird, because I don't think of it as a job. I watch everybody every night, from sitting down to being on their feet at the end, and I feel a sense of reinvention, of caring, presenting these songs in their purest form. I've been round the world a hundred times and had started to forget where I'd been. I knew I'd been there, it said it on the tour map. I could remember the name of the city but I couldn't remember what it was like, it was a massive blur. I'm not afraid of being thought of as someone who is associated with film music. Why not? If it's a good song, what does it matter? I think a lot of people want to be remembered the way they were, as opposed to the way they are now. Social media is a giant distraction to the ultimate aim, which is honing your craft as a songwriter. There are people who are exceptional at it, however, and if you can do both things, then that's fantastic. But if you are a writer, the time is better spent on a clever lyric than a clever tweet. I like to be able to present myself in two or three different ways because I've never really wanted to rest on my laurels and be something that people expected. I always knew I'd be in music in some sort of capacity. I didn't know if I'd be successful at it, but I knew I'd be doing something in it. Maybe get a job in a record store. Maybe even play in a band. I never got into this to be a star. I feel quite sad for the young musicians coming up because they may never get to pay their rent properly. It doesn't matter what the genre, nowadays, it's so much harder than it ever was. Thanks for watching.